How's it going guys? So in this video we're going to be taking a look at a Caldari cruiser called the Caracol. Now the fitting that I'm going to be showing you is a PvE fit that you can use to run low level missions and also DD sites like 3 out of 10s and stuff like that if you're doing high sec combat exploration. Now uh, let's get into the fitting and as you can see here in the high slots we have uh, five of these Malkuth heavy missile launchers. Now you could go for the Arbalest, it's a bit more expensive but it has some better stats. However I went for the cheap version just to make this fit a bit more newbie friendly like it's almost 25 million, uh, 24.8 million isk for this fitting. Uh, that's not too much at all. So. Uh, then as you can see the range of the missiles is quite long, it's 94 kilometers but with new newbie skills you'll maybe, you're maybe looking at like uh, 75 to 85 kilometers or something like that. But that's still more than enough, uh, more than you need basically. And as you can also see I'm using Mjolnir heavy missiles. Now for some of you who know about Kaldari missile ships, they often have a kinetic bonus or, or kinetic damage bonus but this one has a launcher rate of fire bonus so you can use basically any damage type and not lose out on the DPS so that's pretty good for the caracol and then in the mid slots what we have is a large compact cap battery and that's used to feed this 50mn micro warp drive now my fit is uh, cap stable for my skills but if you're a newbie it may not be cap stable but don't worry about that I'll explain later how you don't really need it to be cap stable. So then in the mid slots we also have two missile guidance computers with uh, missile precision scripts and what these basically do it is they allow the missiles to apply better damage to smaller targets with smaller signature radius like uh, frigates and destroyers. So with this uh, fit you'll be able to uh, one shot or two shot most frigates and destroyers uh, that come at you in, in these sites basically. And uh, then we also have a target painter with, which increases the signature radius of your target that you're painting and that's also useful against frigates and destroyers to, to, make, them, to make their signature bloom a bit so that the, your missiles apply better damage. And then we have the 50mn cold gas enduring micro warp drive which uh, basically consumes less capacitor when it's activated compared to the other ones and that allows your fit to be a bit more cap stable if you're running the micro warp drive for longer periods of time. Then in the low slots we have three of these ballistic control systems tech 2 and they're, they're basically there to increase your DPS, your damage and uh, then we also have a compact reactor control unit which increases your power grid because this is quite a power grid hungry fit actually. As you can see here in the rig slots we have two medium ancillary current routers and they basically do the same thing, they give you more power grid. And then finally we have a medium ionic field projector which increases your locking range. Now as you can see here the missiles have a flight range of 94 kilometers but my targeting range is only 89.84 kilometers. So basically I can't lock uh, the targets that are 94 kilometers away, I have to move closer for that. So uh, that's basically it for the fit and the strategy that you're going to be using with this fit is called kiting. And what, what it basically means is that you are far away from the targets, from the NPCs that you're engaging and you fire at them with these missiles from like uh, 40 to 80 kilometer range away and uh, then you use the micro warp drive to boost you quickly to that range because this is a lot faster than an afterburner or whatnot and uh, it allows you to quickly dictate range when, when you're in engaging the NPCs. So the idea is basically to stay out of the NPCs range so that they can't shoot you. If they can shoot you at 40 kilometers you want to be at 41 or further away. If they can shoot you at 60 you want to be at 61 or further away. Alright, so uh, let's take a look at a um, Sunsha DD3 out of 10 that I did with this uh, Caracol and uh, it went pretty well, so let's take a look at that. Warp drive active. 